Hey, what up? This is Melvin, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to create junctions. So, um, why would you ever need a junction? Um, well, I would say it's good for SSDs. A good example I could give you is that your Steam games on the SSD, you're probably going to have maybe 60 or 120 gigs of, of space, and if you have as many games as I do on Steam, they're not all going to fit on your SSD. One of eight games. So, what we can do is we could create a junction on your C drive where your SSD would be and have your game stored on the D drive. So, let's get right to it. I'm going to open up my computer. Then I'm going to open it again, go to the D drive, where I have my Steam stored. Junctions are basically shortcuts, and I'll show you one that I have on here on my computer. This is located on my server, but I created a shortcut and uh, mapped it to my, my music. But basically, um, in this in this case, you cannot create a shortcut for wh what we're trying to do. We need to make a junction. So I'll go ahead and I'll start that. I forgot if you have to run it as, as administrator or not, but oh well, I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, so what you want to do here is type in mklink space o slash j and then the path where you want the, the junction file to be stored so in this scenario I want it to be stored on the C drive so I'm going to type C drive and name the folder Steam alright hit space and now I want to put where the junction is taking its information from so I want to take it from Steam on a D drive Paste it on here. So, mklink uh, forward slash j for junction. And we're going to take it from, and we're going to store it in C drive and create a folder named Steam. And we're taking it from the D drive, the folder of Steam. So hit enter. Bam. And we have a junction on my C drive. Open that up. Steam apps, common, all my Steam games are here. See, so about 300 gigs. I mean, there's no way possible that would fit here. Three oh two. But since we created a junction, we can easily store it on the C drive. All right. In case you forgot the command, I'll go ahead and I'll type it up here. MK MK link space four slash j and then the path where you want to type it so in this one I use example I use a C drive slash users slash etc and then where we're taking it from uh, let's say Steam, Steam apps, that's common. And then let's say for example, for example, on their game, I'll use like Bio or yeah, Bio Shock Infinite. Yeah, so this will be an example. Um, the command mklink forward slash j, 
the path you want to store it. So users. So for example, this I might store this as. Um, I might just give the users and just do Steam. And then, well, if we do this command here, it's only going to store the Bioshock Infinite under the Steam folder. But that's a perfect example. If you want the entire Steam folder, just ignore all this and just go straight up C Steam slash D Steam. And there you go. That's how you will create junctions. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them at the comment down below. Alright, have a good one.